Welcome to Maths TV. This is step by step revision series in which we are going through circle properties or circle theorems. So we have already done part one and part two of uh, uh, this series. Part one was including introduction to the circle terms and then rule one, two, three and part two was continuing rule 4, 5, 6 and 7. So if you have not gone through part 1 and 2 better, you should revise, you should revise these uh, part 1 and part 2 and then after watching that one you can go through this part 3 and this part 3 is starting from rule number 8 and rule number 8 says two tangents to a circle. Tangent to a circle is a line which is touching the circle at only one point. So two tangents to a circle drawn from a single point. So this is the single point from where we have drawn two tangents. One is touching at this point and the second tangent is drawn and touching to the same circle on this point outside the circle. This point is outside the circle are the same length. So length from this point to this point will be same as length from this point to this point. So tangents drawn outside the circle are having same length and create congruent right angled triangles. So this right angle triangle, this is right angle 90 degree between the radius and the tangent is 90 degree. So this is right angle triangle. This is also right angle triangle. If these two triangles are congruent to practice this rule, we'll be going through one part. And this is the question which we have uh, chosen for this one. So if we consider this is like, for example, O, A, B and this is center C. So triangle OAC in triangle OAC this angle is 90 degree. Why this angle is 90 degree? Because this is tangent and this is the radius. So radius and tangent to a circle are making an angle of 90 degree. So this will be 90 degree and we have to find this complete angle. So we can check this triangle. This will be this will be right angle triangle so we can find this one like uh, so by using this rule that this is right angle and we can find so 180 minus 76 minus 90 degree this will be equal to 11 degrees so this much angle is 11 degrees so we can write here angle a O C is equal to 180 minus 76 minus 90 which is equal to 11 degrees and these triangles are congruent if we if we complete this triangle for example this if we join this with the dotted line so by the rule which just now we have done this triangle this triangle will also be congruent with this shaded triangle. So this angle will also be 11. This angle will be equal to this angle. This is 11. So this will also be 11. So G will be equal to 11 plus 11, which is 22 degrees. Now we can go through next rule, which is rule, uh, which is rule number nine. This is known as alternate segment theorem alternate segment theorem the angle between a tangent to a card this is tangent this one and this one is card this one card you know we have uh, done in the introductory video which we first part one we have uh, gone through the terms so this is card you can check from there so this is card an angle between this one is equal to the angle subtended from the ends of the chord in alternate segment. So this B will be equal to this B angle. So this B will be equal to this B angle. So this chord and this tangent is making an angle of B and alternate segment will be this one. So 
this b angle will be equal to this b this is by this rule now we can practice a question for this rule okay so this is the question which we have selected this is the circle this is tangent this is point like for example o a b and this angle a is in this segment this one so this angle will be equal to this one which is 67 so we can write this as 67 degrees because this one and this one they are interrelated they are equal to each other these two angles are equal to each other so this will be 67 similarly we can apply rule on b also so b and this angle these two angles will be related to each other so this is 49 this will also be 49 degrees so in this question we have applied the same rule which is rule number nine twice so according to situation we will have to choose the rule so this is applied on a and this one 67 these two are equal and b angle and 49 are equal if you quickly go through again this is the important thing the alternate what is alternate segment the alternate segment on an angle to an angle between a tangent and a card is the segment on the other side of the card so for example this is the card in this diagram this is the card which we have taken this one so on the other this is the seg this is the segment this one and the other side of the segment is this side so angle in this one is this so b will be equal to this angle and a will be equal to this angle so if we take a this will be the segment this one so on the other side of the segment will be this angle not b or this one so for this angle a this is the segment and this is the other angle in angle in other segment so this angle will be equal to this one and b will be equal to this one hopefully you understood this rule all as well now we can move to the uh, next rule which is rule number 10 and this will be the last rule for circle theorem which we'll be going through if two cards pq see this one p to q and rs and rs this one cross at a point t they are they are crossing at point t then product of p t and q t this multiplied by this will be equal to this st multiplied by rt so these two segments multiplied by these two portions of this one will be multiplied it will be equal to these two multiplied by each other so we'll go through the second also this is this is true whether t is inside or outside the circle so this statement will be true for t point if it is inside the circle in this case this is inside the circle whereas in this case if we see t is outside the circle even then this statement will be true so let us go through questions for this rule this is the question which we have uh, chosen for uh, this uh, rule number 10 in find a we have to find a lx what is a a is lx so this length is a we have to find a ix is given ix is 9 millimeter mm and jx is equal to 3 mm this is 3 mm hopefully you're understanding each and everything and kx kx is this length which is 7 mm so these measurements are give i have copied in this drawing now according to the rule which just now we have done rule number 10 this multiply by this side so 9 multiply by 7 9 multiplied by 7 will be equal to 
थ्री मल्टीप्लाई बाय ए सो थ्री मल्टीप्लाई बाय ए सो वी कैन से थ्री ए इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी थ्री एंड नाउ वी कैन डिवाइड बोथ साइड्स बाय थ्री एंड दिस विल बी इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी वन सो दिस इम्प्लाइज ए इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी वन एम एम दिस इज हाउ प्रोडक्ट ऑफ दिस वन दिस मल्टीप्लाई बाय दिस विल बी इक्वल टू दिस मल्टीप्लाई बाय this this is one aspect of the rule number 10 this is one aspect this one which we have done now we will be going through this the other aspect which is t point is outside the circle in this case t point was outside the circle we have done one question for this and next question will be going through this one when t is outside the circle now this is the question which we have chosen for the other aspect of the rule number 10 and find h and q r is h so this is h q r is h and r v is 7 meters h meters this is r v is 7 meters we can copy this one so s t is 9 this one is 9 meters and t v is 6.5 t v is 6.5 meters and according to the rule q v this whole length this one we can write here q v is multiply by q r which is uh, multiply by r v this q r multiply by r v r v will be equal to s v which is the complete length multiply by t v this outer portion so we can write t v like this so this will be the equation which we have formed by the rule number 10 we have just gone through the second aspect of that rule now we can replace the values q v is h plus 7 so we can write h plus 7 and multiply by r v which is 7 is equal to s v s v is 9 plus 6.5 and multiply by t v which is 6.5 so after copying these values we can just solve this will be 7 h plus 49 is equal to 9 plus 6 i will keep as it is and i'll use calculator to solve this and this one uh basically now we can shift this so 7 h will be equal to 9 plus uh, 6.5 multiply by 6.5 and minus 49 we have shifted this 49 to other side so h will be equal to so if i move the page a little above so we can you can see this properly so h will be equal to this whole thing 9 plus 6.5 into 6.5 minus 49 and divided by 7 and now we can use calculator to solve this so fraction 9 uh, with this one 9 plus 6.5 and multiply by 6.5 and minus will be 49 and divided by 7 this will be resulting to 7.39 meters so 7.39 meters will be our answer so this is how we have uh, applied rule number 10 as well hopefully you understood everything this is the rule number 10 which we have gone through so these are the all uh, 10 rules we have uh, gone through in step by step revision series of circle theorem Th these are three videos basically three parts we are part 1 part 2 and part 3 in which we have completed all these 10 rules and hopefully you will be going through all three parts and Uh, commenting about these videos also and don't uh, forget to subscribe maths tv and like the video and next videos we will be uh, going through practice videos for uh, the circle theorem we'll be going through these uh, rules practically we'll be solving uh, difficult questions to uh, to practice these so hopefully you will be 
um, waiting for that one and we will be doing that one soon thank you for watching mass tv take care bye